As a beginner vegetable gardener, understanding basic plant anatomy and physiology is essential to ensure the successful growth and health of your plants. Here are some key concepts you should be familiar with. Parts of the plant are shoot system, consists of flower, leaf, fruit and stem. Root system, which is responsible for absorption of water and minerals. Vascular system of plants, phloem and xylem. Xylem and phloem form the vascular system of plants, enabling the efficient transport of water, minerals, and nutrients necessary for growth, metabolism, and survival. This vascular system also provides structural support to the plant, allowing it to stand upright and grow tall. 1. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants convert light energy from the sun into chemical energy in the form of sugars. This process takes place in the leaves, where chlorophyll, a green pigment, captures sunlight and combines it with carbon dioxide, CO2, from the air and water, H2O, from the roots to produce glucose and oxygen. This glucose serves as the plant's food and energy source for growth and development. 2. Transpiration. Transpiration is the process of water movement through the plant from the roots to the leaves, where it evaporates into the atmosphere. It helps in the uptake of nutrients from the soil and cools the plant, but it can also lead to water loss, so proper watering is essential. 3. Respiration. Plant respiration is the process of breaking down sugars produced during photosynthesis to release energy for various cellular activities. Unlike photosynthesis, which occurs in the presence of light, respiration occurs continuously, both during the day and night. 4. Nutrient uptake. Plants obtain essential nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium from the soil through their root systems. These nutrients are vital for healthy growth, and their availability in the soil can impact plant development significantly. 5. Growth hormones. Plants produce hormones that regulate various growth processes. For example, auxins promote root growth and apical dominance, cytokinins stimulate cell division, and gibberellins influence stem elongation and flowering. Understanding these hormones can help you manipulate plant growth and development when necessary. 6. Pollination. Many vegetable plants require pollination to produce fruits. Pollination is the transfer of pollen from the male part, stamen, to the female part, pistil, of a flower. This can occur through wind, insects, or other animals. Without proper pollination, some vegetables may not produce fruit. 7. Photoperiodism. Photoperiodism refers to how plants respond to the length of day and night. Some plants are long day plants, meaning they require longer periods of daylight to flower while others are short-day plants, which flower when days are shorter. Understanding the photoperiodic requirements of the vegetables you're growing can help with timing planting and flowering. 8. Plant Adaptation Different vegetable plants have evolved to thrive in specific environmental conditions. Understanding the preferred climate, sunlight, and soil conditions for each vegetable will help you select appropriate varieties and ensure successful growth. 9. Plant Diseases and Pests Learning to identify common plant diseases and pests will enable you to take preventive measures and apply appropriate treatments to protect your vegetable garden. 10. Pruning and Harvesting Proper pruning techniques help maintain plant health and shape, while harvesting at the right time ensures the best flavor and nutritional value of your vegetables. As a beginner gardener, it's best to start with vegetables that are relatively easy to grow and maintain. Here are some vegetables that are well suited for beginners. 11. Tomatoes, lettuce, radishes, cucumbers, zucchini, green beans, carrots and herbs. Raised above the ground beds, also known as raised beds. They offer several advantages for vegetable gardening and other types of cultivation. Here are some of the key benefits. 12. Improved drainage. Raised beds are typically filled with well-draining soil mixtures, which prevents water from pooling around plant roots. 13. Better soil quality. Since you fill raised beds with a customized soil mix, you have better control over the soil quality. You can add nutrients as needed. 14. 
Warmer soil, raised beds tend to warm up faster in the spring compared to the ground soil. This is especially beneficial for early season planting and for crops that prefer warmer soil temperatures. 15. Easier weeding and pest control. The defined borders of raised beds make it easier to spot and remove weeds. Additionally, it's easier to protect your plants from pests, as you can implement physical barriers like row covers or netting around the raised bed. 16. Extended growing season. Raised beds' ability to warm up quickly in the spring and their improved drainage can extend the growing season for certain crops. In colder climates, you can also cover raised beds with plastic or other materials to create mini greenhouses. 17. Accessibility. Raised beds are ideal for gardeners with physical limitations or those who find it challenging to bend over or kneel for extended periods. The elevated height reduces strain on the back and knees. Raised above the ground beds provide a controlled and optimized environment for plant growth, making them an excellent option for beginner gardeners. Installing a computerized drip irrigation system for vegetable gardening offers numerous advantages that can significantly improve the efficiency and success of your garden. Here are some of the key benefits. Water efficiency, consistent watering, automated convenience, even distribution of water, reduced weeds and disease, healthy plant growth, time and labor savings, flexibility and customization. Overall, a computerized drip irrigation system optimizes water use, promotes healthy plant growth, and simplifies the gardening process, making it a valuable investment for vegetable gardeners of all levels of experience. Remember, in organic vegetable gardening, natural and organic fertilizers are preferred. These fertilizers provide essential nutrients to the plants while maintaining soil health and sustainability. Here are some common organic fertilizers used in vegetable gardening. Compost. Compost is one of the best organic fertilizers and soil amendments. It is created by decomposing organic matter, such as kitchen scraps, yard waste, and manure, in a controlled environment. Compost adds nutrients and improves soil structure, making it an excellent choice for vegetable gardens. Manure, animal manure, such as cow, horse, chicken, and rabbit manure, is a rich source of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Bone meal. Bone meal is made from crushed animal bones and is a good source of phosphorus, which is essential for root development and overall plant growth. Fish emulsion. Fish emulsion is a liquid organic fertilizer made from fish waste. It contains a balanced mix of nutrients, including nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and is readily absorbed by plants. Green manure. Green manure refers to cover crops, such as clover, vetch, or alfalfa, that are grown and then tilled into the soil to improve fertility. As they decompose, they release nutrients and organic matter back into the soil. Wood ash. Wood ash from hardwoods, like oak or maple, can be used as a source of potassium and some trace minerals. Attracting pollinators. It is a good idea to plant flowers around garden bed which attract pollinators. Bees, butterflies, small animals, moths, wasps, and other insects pollinate many of our crops. Certain species of plants, when combined, protect each other by repelling pests and increasing plant productivity. The practice of grouping these plants together is known as companion planting. Basic tools in vegetable gardening garden trowel. A garden trowel is perfect for digging small holes, transplanting seedlings, and loosening soil in the raised bed. Hand pruners. Hand pruners or secateurs are essential for cutting and trimming plants. They are good for harvesting vegetables and removing dead or diseased plant parts. Garden gloves. A pair of sturdy garden gloves is essential to protect your skin from thorns, sharp edges, and soil-borne pathogens. Garden fork. A garden fork is useful for turning and aerating the soil in your raised bed. It helps loosen compacted soil, improves drainage, and allows plant roots to grow freely. Garden hoe. A garden hoe is great for removing weeds and cultivating the soil's surface. Watering can or hose. Depending on the size of your raised bed, 
you may use a watering can or a hose with a suitable nozzle to provide consistent water to your plants. Wheelbarrow or Garden Cart Having a wheelbarrow or garden cart makes it easier to transport soil, compost, and other materials to and from your raised bed. Plant Markers Use plant markers or labels to identify each crop to avoid confusion during growth and harvesting. Rake. A small garden rake is helpful for smoothing and leveling the soil, removing debris, and creating even seed beds for planting. pH testing kit. A pH testing kit is essential for monitoring the pH level of your soil. It helps you maintain the right soil acidity for optimal plant growth. Remember that gardening is a continuous learning process, and observing your plants closely and making adjustments based on their responses will be a valuable skill as you progress as a vegetable gardener. Happy gardening!